Hey guys, so this week I am at the Tate Britain and I am going to take you to see Women in Revolt, an uh, exhibition that's currently on show there. So let's go have a look now. So this one's going on the tour 7th of April, in case you didn't just catch it. So Overall, the Women in Vault is a collection of different female artists. Maureen Scott in this piece really captivated me. When you look at the mother's face with the child screaming and that leaning back of the body having a tantrum, I feel like we've all been there before and I just resonated with that piece in particular. The next one that I'm just going to actually show you is by Kate Walker. It's a few pieces by her and another artist that I'm about to show after Kate. Uh, where I just love how they make these objects like the chocolates here they actually are made by I believe out of uh, clay and painted and then you've got these babies in egg uh, cases as well as the doll faces in egg cases and it's just a little bit eerie but I really enjoy them and they also feel like everyday pieces Sue Richardson is another one now all of these pieces tend to be quite on the smaller side and it's because these women were sending them in the post and they were doing uh, this male art exhibit which is really interesting so it had to be quite a small size to do. This bottle, the souvenir one, I thought was quite captivating to see the sand in a baby bottle and it gave me fantasies and ideas. This particular piece resonated with actually my own style of work where I've also done photography with butterflies. So I've never seen her work before and I was really excited to see somebody playing in a similar way. Um, I really liked this piece and it just made me question who was a person. I was trying to read the writing on there. And then this particular piece really made me think of where people just take tapestry and embroidery and all these other techniques at for granted is just a woman's uh, kind of hobby and actually they're beautiful pieces that should sometimes really be in galleries um, but don't forget to do lists um, gloves, tools, spare buttons, sausages, implements, whistle for referee in a part of life this is an outfit for the mother at home that's the idea, the concept of it is, and how many roles a woman has to partake at home, being referee to mother, etc. This piece, I'm not going to lie, I'm actually obsessed with. This is my favourite piece in the whole show. So, on the outer rings, this is a... Uh, little tablets, there's the menstrual blood and then on the inner rings this is the moon cycle. So you can see it's a calendar basis of the moon cycle and the menstrual cycle. Uh, I'm taking the pill. That's it as a whole. I just really, really liked this piece. It, I really gravitated towards it. So talking about crochet and all these other kind of lovely things this next piece is large scale as you can see look at the people in the background compared to these are real people in size i love the legs i love the shoes all crocheted laying on this crocheted rug it's really beautiful the screaming you hear in the background you will see in a second this is another art piece but Let's just focus on this for now, these beautiful details. And this is the actual image I use on the poster for Women in Revolt as well. So in the kitchen, 12 photographs, where the artist Helen here actually gets the ideas of props up the washing machine, the fridge, um, the cooker as you can see here below and I believe the sink is next, like the kitchen sink. She then uses these as outfits and she incorporates her body as part of the actual uh, instruments. It's a 
kind of performance art slash photography. If we just have a look at it one more time, just quickly, so you can see a bit close up now, as you can see, she's taking the laundry out. She's is the machine. She is part of the burners. That's a frame that goes on for the actual cooker and below the frame again to be part of this sink slash waterfall sit and yeah. I think the questions a woman's role being in the kitchen and also be it sometimes feeling just like an appliance in the background as depressing as that is to say. This piece I just think is spectacular. I uh, feel it captures on the camera really well. It looks 3D from a distance. It's actually on a 2D board and uh, you can see on the side and the fabrics applied on top. It's such a clever optical illusion. So Incognito, this was a performer who would have this piece as a striptease. However, you see it in reverse where she's actually putting on the leotard. Uh, also, just looking at the leotard, looking at how many slits, you know, thinking the hassle to put that on, not getting your foot caught through. I loved how she made that part of the piece and the idea and the concept of actually putting the leotard on becomes one part of the striptease we don't see and then capturing it. Now we're getting on to more of the political side uh, of the room. Based on the Green and Women, this was women trying to prevent war through various methods, including chaining themselves to a renowned fence around the area of this where I believe maybe they were making the bombs uh, but I may have got that wrong so if you do know more details please give a comment I'd be happy to read and be corrected on that um, as you can see some of the posters 1984, 1985, 1981 these were key dates uh, now we go to 1985 on another piece which is in Brixton and this one was really worth watching people's reaction this lady walks through Brixton cold hobble lane kind of area with the barefoot with the shoes attached almost like she's being followed by some kind of military person behind her with those type of empty shoes the comments the demeaning comments that she gets it's not nice but it shows you what people are like we're moving on to this one now I did put a sensitivity for it, I'll let you read it. If you did get a chance to pause that and read, I just felt this was a really beautiful piece of artwork, the iron of the baby, but it was also very sad. And that's even captured in the image. We're now going on to uh, my other favourite artist, uh, link here where I we all know I love Julie Verhoeven I've talked about it before and this is Shelley Verhoeven her mother and I just thought it was so exciting to see one of her pages from her portfolio and the story there about her actually redoing her portfolio back again and I think around the 80s looking at the fashion there definitely um, I will put a link to Julie's work at the end of this. Well, I uh, really enjoyed that. That was a really good experience. There was lots of thought-provoking topics and in one of the rooms I did get a little bit tearful. Uh, just to be honest, that was because of the subject matter. I'm just trying to cross the roads now. Um, and yeah, basically I thought it was a really good exhibition. It's really worth seeing. And I hope you enjoy and I hope you go and see it as well. And thank you for watching and look forward to sharing with you some more art next week in some additional videos. Bye bye.